Now that we understand how we've created these cases and how they come in the system, let's look at how an agent's actually going to work through the resolution of a case. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up this average order shipment. So when I open up this case, a couple of things that you're gonna see. The first thing that we'll see in here is, is the timeline. So the timeline is really there to tell us what specifically is going on with this case. When was it created? Was there any auto-triggered information in the system that did anything from a case perspective? But a lot of times, particularly if you're doing time-based contracts with customers, a lot of the times the amount of time that you've spent working on a case is what's gonna get rolled up to that from an activity standpoint. So generally, speaking, you might have people who are going in and working on cases who will add things like phone call activities or tasks to define specifically what they did. So in this case, maybe I called this customer back. So I'm going to go ahead and click on phone call, and this will open up a new phone call associated with this case. And I'm just going to say this is a quick follow-up. And then in here, I'm gonna say it was outgoing. Um, I'm gonna say maybe we spent, instead of 30 minutes, maybe we spent 15 minutes on the phone with them. And then if there was any due date information that I needed to associate with this, I could do that. But the advantage to this now is when I click on save, this is gonna add that to my timeline view. So now I can see directly from a timeline perspective how what I actually did and when it was added in from that particular standpoint. As I come into here, I also can see that from an agent standpoint, I can close this activity automatically. So think about it from an agent perspective where maybe you have five or six different activities that automatically get cr uh, created when a case is defined. Those activities could display right here. As the agent completes those individual items, they would now have the ability to track that information inside the system. Now from here, I could also work through my business process flow. So I can see up here at the top that I have you know a few different stages. I have the identify stage and in the identify stage it wants me to find a customer and a contact and then I have the research stage which is currently the active stage inside the application because I can see the little red circle in here that shows me that this is currently the stage that I'm working with. It tells me how long I've been assigned or how long this particular item has been active and then it shows me each specific task that needs to be done within this particular element. As I've gone through and maybe assign this case to somebody else or, or done what has been expected from a management perspective, I could now come into here, click on next stage, and this will now advance it to the next stage in the business process flow, which in this case is the resolve phase of the, of the actual case itself. Now, from a resolution standpoint, there's a lot of ways that I might be able to resolve this case. I might potentially go into the knowledge base and do some searching for specific articles inside the knowledge base that are relevant to those individual scenarios and then email those articles onto somebody else or maybe link this as an article that is relevant to the item that I'm working with. In this case, I'm going to say, okay, I found one that is relevant, so I'm going to link that to this particular case. That will actually allow me to look at knowledge article statistics and see what specific knowledge articles are being used within those, those items. Now, the other thing that I'll draw your attention to up here is the status. So in the status, this is where I could define what's going on. So in this case, I'm working on it or I'm maybe I'm doing some researching, I can modify the statuses to work through those. So maybe I'm waiting for somebody to get back, with, back to me with password information. This is where I could modify the waiting for details. And now it knows if my manager or somebody's looking at it, that I'm currently waiting for somebody to get back to me. Now, in this case, I know that I've, I found the article that works for me. Everything looks good from that standpoint. So now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to resolve my case. So when I come up here and click on resolve case, it allows me to define how I want to resolve this case. What was the resolution? Well, in this case, we sent a knowledge article, so I'm just going to say knowledge article. And then you'll see that it also rolls up time. It says that I've spent 15 minutes on this case, and that's because of the activity that I added that defined that as 15 minutes. I can adjust that information based upon the billable time if it's wanting to round up to the nearest half hour or, or something to that nature. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and resolve the case. And I have now worked that case from having it be created in the system. I've used the business process flow to advance and do the tasks that I need to do. And then I've used the knowledge base to resolve the article and then close the case inside the system.